Hi, I'm Daniel Storridge and you're watching Redmen TV. Hello boys, so Steve Corker has gone on loan to Liverpool. As a QPR fan, what are my feelings of him? He's a bit of a weird one really because he's got the pedigree there, he's still young, so from that point of view he's a decent buy for you guys. Um, for us, so he's a right-footed centre-back. He actually came in to play in a back three with Rio Ferdinand and possibly Ned Manu or Richard Dunn uh, when we went up the second time through the playoffs. He was an exciting signing. He was someone we thought could be a future captain, captain for the club, but it just didn't really work out. He did play a lot that season. I think he played 35 games. As a player, he's got everything you want, really. I mean, he's... He's tall, he's athletic, he's got pace, he's quite good on the ball. At times he likes to come out with the ball. But at the same time, you know, we finished bottom of the league and, and actually that season he wasn't the best player in that back four. The best player was Richard Dunn. Um, stop laughing. Uh, <laughs> he was... He's, he lacks a little bit of substance. That would be my thing about Stephen Corker. Um, he, as I say, he's got all those things that you need, but... We didn't do very well. He didn't galvanise that back four. He didn't organise that back four, despite supposedly being a future leader. I think he likes to give off the impression that he is a leader and he is a communicator. But at QPR, we didn't see it. And, and that was despite being sort of surrounded by other actually experienced players in the Premier League, despite us not being good enough at all. Um, he went into the Championship. I was looking forward to having him in the Championship because he, at that level, he is way, way too good. Um, he went to Southampton. I think that was a smart move for his career because, as I say, he's only 24. He, I think he's played for England. Um, he's got the pedigree of going through the ranks at Spurs. So he's a decent player who maybe wasn't used to playing for a team that was down the bottom or doesn't suit a team that's playing down the bottom because I guess with Cardiff he got relegated as well. So at Liverpool, with the situation you've got, I think he's an actually, he's actually an all right loan signing. There's only so many players available. It looks bad because he hasn't played that many games for Southampton, but actually the people in front of him, uh, Font and uh, Van Dijk, are both players who've been decent. Uh, Van Dijk's been a bit of a revelation there. Font has been their captain and a great, great player for them in the last two seasons. So that's probably why he hasn't been playing. What you'll get from him, you've got someone who's comfortable on the ball, someone who probably wants to be playing back at that high level. For him, at this period in his career, it's an opportunity for him to play for a team that is, is one of the biggest teams in, in the country. So if he doesn't take the opportunity, really he's only got himself to blame because, I mean, it's a bit of a random one. Unless you had, hadn't lost all your centre-backs, there's just no way he would have ever, ever had a look in there because you can't even get in the Southampton team. So I think he'll do OK for you. I think there'll be goals that occur probably not because it looks like it's clearly his fault, but actually if he'd been able to communicate better with his back line, then those goals wouldn't have happened. He has a lot of similarities, I guess, with someone like Lovren, who again looks like he should be great as a centre-back, probably why you spend the money on him, but doesn't seem to be a leader of men, which actually you do need in any Premier League defence. So I guess that's my summing up of him. Um, Probably the same feeling I imagine that you guys are having that who knows what he's going to do. But in the current market, he's probably someone who's, who's the best you can get at this moment in time without spending too much money. You can send him back if it doesn't work out. He is Premier League quality just about. And playing with better players, he might do well as well. So uh, that's my summing up with Stephen Corker. And hopefully we can get some decent money off him because we still own him, QPR. So I hope you do well, Steve. Go win maybe the FA Cup. And, uh, and then we can have eight million for him, which is what we paid for him. But we've loaned him from QPR. He was on loan at Southampton. He only played 145 minutes in the Premier League for Southampton this season.